Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, bringing you another Law of Attraction lesson from the girl next door. Today I want to speak to you about the Law of Attraction visualization. Okay, I've received a lot of comments about visualization, affirmations, and I wanted to, I did a video earlier um, this month about the steps to take um, to, to visualize correctly. But maybe people are still not too sure how it's being done. And it's always good for somebody to explain exactly how it's done. Um, which I did in the other video. But now I'm going to send you guys out a, a, an example. This is a short video. It's basically an example. First thing I want to let you know is that it's important to know what you want. It's very important. Um, if you don't know what you want, you're sending mixed messages to the universe and the universe is gonna send you back mis mixed mess messages, if not, nothing, okay? Or something that you do not desire, okay? So be careful and know what you want. I Get out there, I tell people, get out there. Um, drive around, go to car dealers, look around at houses, go look at magazines. Know what you want first. If it's that position at your job, know exactly what that job entails and, and, and visualize yourself having it. So now, let's just use a car, for example, because those are quite easy to manifest. Now, I just want you to remember, you can visualize and create anything in your life, okay? But that doesn't mean that it's perfect for you and that it's not coming with, without flaws. Um, when you manifest something, later on you might find out that it's not exactly what you wanted, okay? So be careful and know exactly what you want. Like you can get a car, but later on you could find out that those payments are too high for you. Or that car may not be as nice as you thought it was, okay? So know what you want and just remember that things may not be exactly what you want, but you can always get something else. That's the, that's the way it is. That's the way I do. I mean, I might be here today. Two years from now, I might be somewhere else. But the thing is, as I want something, I move along and I get it. Okay? It may not be for me in a couple of years. And that's okay. Change is all right. We're all here to have a human experience. And without being out there, knowing other things, knowing what's out there, you will not be able to move along your path if you just stayed in one spot. So it's okay for change. Now getting back to the law of attraction visualization. Let's use that car for an example. Okay, let's use my Range Rover that I had um, a couple of years ago. Like in 2005, 2015 I purchased that from the showroom. Okay, now what I would do if I was visualizing, I would visualize a couple of times a day. I mean, visualizing, what, how long do it take? two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. And if you're really into it, 10 minutes can go by really fast and you not actually know that it's been 10 minutes. I'm telling you. Um, so what I would like for you to do is to close your eyes. This area right here is where your third eye is, okay? This is where your third eye is. This is your vision your vision outside of your five senses, okay? So now, when you close your eyes, you're gonna see darkness. Now, I tell people, I like dark rooms because if you're in a room that is full of light, you will still see the light coming through your eyelids, but that's okay. As long as your eyes are closed, it's fine. So now, what I would do is close my eyes, and in this section here, I would tilt my head up a little bit, and I would, I would look at this area right here behind my eyelids and I would just gaze into the darkness. Then I would imagine, for me, I would imagine a TV screen. I would imagine a TV screen. On that TV screen, I would imagine that I was at a dealer looking at a car. I would ima imagine that I was, be I was being handed keys, I was being congratulated, like somebody was shaking my hand, and that I was, and I would be looking at that car, all the details involved in that car. So I would be looking at exactly the color, the shape, the size, I would be looking at, um, I would be noticing the tires, the rims, I would be noticing the interior, the, um, now remind you now, you're 
your eyes are closed, your head is tilted, you're looking at this section here of your forehead, and you're imagining a, a, a movie playing in your mind. You can imagine it as just a full movie, or you can imagine it as a, as a screen, like a movie theater screen. But I want you to put yourself in that movie. Some other people might say, no, just look at it as if you're looking with your own eyes. I did both, I do both. But for some reason, for me, it works a little better when I see myself in the movie. So you can use a TV, a television screen, or a, I'd say a, a movie theater screen, because it's nice and big and it's like life size. Or you can use just actual, like, actually like you're standing there as a third person watching yourself in the movie in, in this scene okay so you're going to close your eyes tilt your head look at your third eye on your tv screen this is your theater you are the producer of this movie and you're going to imagine that car you're going to see that car as be as you pulling up to the dealer walking in them walking you around the car you looking at it you see the color of the car and then the man opens up the door and then you sit inside. I want you to feel, grab the steering wheel, feel the ridge, the edges of the steering wheel, the notches in the steering wheel. Turn it a little bit while you're in there. Look at it, lift up the glove compartment. Look at, look, um, open up the, um, the, 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 there's another glove compartment, the glove compartment and then in between the seat. Open up that stuff. Move the seat around. Use the electric buttons and move the seat around. But I want you to feel it in your hands as you're imagining this in your mind, as you're watching this movie. I want you to talk to the, the salesperson and allow the salesperson to shake your hand. Feel his hand in you. Like while you're in the car, smell the car. Smell it. Smell the car. Smell the new scent of the car. I want you to then get out and I want you to imagine yourself sitting at the desk with the salesperson and him working numbers out and, and you're smiling saying, oh my God, I can't believe this worked out so well. And you signing the papers and you're looking over the contract, making sure that everything is perfect because at the same time you want that car but you want it to be at a price that you can easily afford. And I want you to say, oh my God, I can afford this easily. I can afford this. I can afford this. Imagine all of these things being said and done. I want you to go back into the car, look up to the roof, see the sunroof, move the sunroof around. Do like in your mind with your eyes closed in peace and quiet. Imagine all this stuff as if you were part of a movie. But I want you to see yourself in that car. I want you to see yourself signing that paper. I want you to see yourself jumping up and down, very happy. But again, you have to be careful. You'll get that car. So don't leave out parts like the payment. You want a car, but you want it at a payment that you can afford. That's very important. You want a car that has no problems. Because even if you get a brand new car, that car could cause problems. Like, it could be a lemon. Okay, so you just want to make sure everything is working out right. I want you to get in that car, drive it out of the dealership. Um, see in your mind yourself driving that car out of the dealership, on the road driving, putting on serious um, radio or turning to your favorite um, radio station and in the car jumping and moving around, calling your friends, calling your family, saying I got my car, listening to them on the phone saying, oh my God, I can't believe you have it. Come pull by my house right now so I can take a picture. Make your own movie up. Use your imagination. But that's what I would do if I was trying to manifest a car. I would, um, in, with, this is just with visualization because I told you before, I write everything out. And I would advise you to write out first what you want so that you can look at it and say, is there anything missing? And you can read it three times. And at night, you can close your eyes or during the day and imagine yourself living out what you just wrote so that it, so that you're not contradicting what you're saying or visualizing every day something different something's missing because it's very easy to say you want something and then the next time you go to visualize you leave a part out or you add another part okay but it has to be consistent it's okay to change but make that change and then stay make it consistent so that you're not confusing the universe okay so people want to know how you visualize 
if you want a car, that's what I would do. I would actually see myself signing the papers. I would actually see the, the amount that I want to pay. I would actually see my insurance company giving me a price for the insurance. I mean, I would actually live it out like a five-minute scene, like this is what's going on in this scene for me to get this car. I would actually see myself pulling it in my yard, uh, my family coming to get in and we driving around and enjoying the car. These are the things that I would do. The last thing I can say, it doesn't matter how much you visualize, you have to take action. I can't tell people more, more times than ever, I tell people, take action. Drive around to, take, make a list of all the dealers that have your car and go around to each and every one of them and just walk around and look. Even if you don't wanna to talk to anybody right now, walk around and look. You're giving the universe more of an opportunity to, to make things work out for you. Because again, the dealer is not gonna come knocking at your door, okay? So that's all I have to say about the law of attraction visualization. I gave you an example. We're gonna work on this a little more in the future. But until now, until then, I just want you guys to try to manifest little things, maybe smaller things, and then work yourself up to bigger things. Again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. If you like this video, please like it or subscribe and subscribe. And I will talk to you later.